The Moment That It Clicks podcast is based upon the book by Joe McNally. In this series, we ask top photographers to share their inspirational moments. I'm here at Photoshop World 2008 in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Kevin Ames, author of the Digital Photographer's Notebook. So we're here to ask you, you being one of the most awesome experts and speakers here at Photoshop World and, and in the f digital photography community, uh, we want to know about the moment that it clicks. That moment when you're out there shooting photographs and all the circumstances are right and you actually hit the button. What is it that comprises that moment and how is it that you know when you're there? Well, sometimes you know it. I mean, you feel the image instantly in your heart and you know that that's the one. I mean, you know that anything else you shoot for the rest of the day is going to be okay, mm -hmm. and you've nailed it. You've got it. It's right in the pit of your stomach. You know. I mean, it's 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 the most exhilarating feeling you can have. It's like driving down the freeway at 180 miles an hour, knowing there are no cops that are ever going to touch you. It's it's a brilliant feeling. There's no other feeling like it. Mm -hmm. And you chose a photograph that uh, we're going to be showing folks here that, yeah, this is, one that is the moment that it clicked. What, yeah, what was it that made up the moment that it clicked in that photograph? Well, part of it was I was in Africa. I was finally, and in Africa they don't let you get out of the cars because there are animals there. There are wild animals that are going to eat you <laughs> and not, you know, so it's, it's a problem. So I was out with a Maasai warrior named Cerrone and he says, let's go for a walk. And I said, we're not supposed to leave camp. What about the animals? And he held up his spear and he said, they're afraid of me. And I'm going, cool. <laughs> so we start walking up this hill and he says, let me carry your camera. So I handed him my digital camera and it weighed, oh, seven or eight pounds. And he's, he handed me the spear and we walked about 100 yards and he says, give me back my spear. This camera is heavy. <laughs> so we were walking along and we get to the top of the hill and Mount Kilimanjaro is in the background. The sun wow. is beginning to set. And he's already taken a couple of pictures of me. And I had him look into the sun. He's got his spear behind him. I took three frames. The first one I knew was it. It was a magical day. Uh -huh. uh, and the photographs are published in the Digital Photographer's Notebook in the section out in Africa. And did you have to manipulate that photo at all? Yeah, Gary, there was a lot of manipulation in it because that was a sunset shot. So Cerrone is illuminated by the setting sun and the sky behind him burned out and you couldn't see the mountain in the raw file. The beauty of shooting raw even back in August of 2001 was there's more data than could be seen in the uh, image on the computer. By manipulating the image in the raw processor and then finally in Photoshop I was able to bring back the sky and the mountain making the portrait that you see. And uh, just out of curiosity, what's the percentage of moment that it clicks? I work to get one moment out of every shoot. That's my that's my ideal. Um, if I've done the planning properly, you know, the five P's of photography, proper planning permit perfect pictures. If I've done the planning well and set it up well, it can, it can click every time. Realistically, between 70 and 80 percent for me, 100 uh, percent of the time for clients because they don't have the eye that I'm hitting for. And then there are those really ultra special images that you get that, uh, you know, 25% that, you know, you're, are you going to make prints and they're going on the wall and you got, if they're, if they're people, you got to have the model releases. You walk up and say, will you sign this and I'll send you a print. <laughs> right on. Thanks a lot, Kevin. You're welcome, Gary. Have a great Photoshop okay, world. Okay, you too. So you heard it on the moment that it clicks.